Previously on Republic of Doyle. It's been quite a ride for you and me, hey? Jake, Becker has it in for you. He's crazy and he's got nothing to lose. I'm gonna take what you love most. So sorry, Mr. Doyle. With guns like this? His cockiness can get the better of him. I care, Jenny. I, I really, really do. I've been promoted. I found out yesterday. It's in Ottawa. Don't miss the opportunity to share your life with her. There's no sign of Jake or Becker anywhere. None of this makes any sense. They're gone. Where is he? What the hell's going on? my friend yeah I took a wrong turn over by Cuba so I'll just head out and go get my bearings <laughs> Gringo, there'll be no heading out anywhere for you where's Carlos why do he send you to me Carlos I'll be honest with you if you find him I got a serious bone to pick with him whoa, whoa, whoa hang on now fellas just take it easy all right I don't know who you are or what you're doing here but I'm sad to tell you this is goodbye Acabalo. You set us up! No, 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 I didn't. Quién es ese pendejo? Agarra ese hombre. Acaba con él. Defame a Chota. Viva. my first time in Mexico. I mean, it feels weird your first time in Mexico to not have a Mexican standoff, don't you think? You, buddy, in order for this to work, you gotta point your gun at him. Go on. I got you, Tate! I knew that was too easy. Hugh, don't move. I'm not moving. I mean, I just gotta I'm gonna lay this gun down, okay? Because, uh, okay. Where are I, uh... Well, I, I know how this looks, all right? I, uh... I just want you to know I'm not supposed to be here. No, stranger. You're not. from Crocker, well, he doesn't know where Jake is. It was my fault. I shouldn't have left him alone. Don't do that. You know better. I'm gonna find Jake. Listen, I'm gonna go check in with some informants. Why don't you come with? Clear your head. Nah, I'm okay. What's the link? Good question. I'm beginning to like you popping by all of the time, I must say. Hey. Just, I got the same board in my kitchen, and no matter how hard I look at it, I just can't seem to figure out where Jake is. 
I'm sure this has something to do with Carlos. He was there with Jake. I've questioned him a thousand times, and he isn't telling us anything. Well, maybe we need someone else to talk to him, someone who isn't bound by the same rules you are. You know, uh, handsome ex-cop, uh, name rhymes with Alecky. I know you want to get Jake back, but there's no way I can let you near Carlos. There's something neither of us are actually saying, Malachi. But it might be something we have to come to terms with. Jake has been missing for a while. Jake's alive, Leslie. I know it, and so do you. Now, you make sure you keep popping by, you got me? Todo ese ejercicio para nada. And I've also told you a thousand times that I don't speak Spanish. You're going to die. Yeah, well, we're all gonna die sometime. You know, lucky for me, it's not gonna be today because I got those really hard bars between you and me. You angered the wrong man, amigo. Oh, I tend to anger a lot of people. This is a nice change of scenery. Do they have like a beach service here or? Jacob Doyle, in our conversation. You mean the five days straight where you interrogated me? You never told me you were from Newfoundland. I tracked the container. First of all, I'm surprised that you even know where Newfoundland is. And second of all, if I knew it would have got me out of that hellhole of a jail sooner, trust me, I would have told you. Tell me, do you have any idea who this might be? Other than the fact that he tried to have me killed twice, no, not really, why? His name is Eli Kane. He's a former Mexican border agent who was dealing arms. Now he heads one of the largest cartels in our country. My sources tell me that you know his lieutenant, Carlos. So I'm pretty sure he's the reason why I went on this little vacation. Why the hell are you telling me all this? Kane is expanding his cartel to your country, starting in your hometown. You're gonna help me catch him. I'll tell you what, let me call home and talk to my family and I'll consider it. No, you being missing gives us a big advantage over Kane. You play along, you'll see your family soon enough. We have a deal? If it gets me home, why not? There's some papers to get us over the U.S. border into Maine. From there, I know a way to get into Newfoundland. Well, I guess he's out of everything, didn't you? Some fresh clothes for you, too. Our first date, and you're already picking out outfits. It's a little forward, don't you think? We have to arrest Kane in your country and keep him there. If people in Mexico find out, he won't go to trial, and the charges will never stick. Where is Kane now? I have information that he's onward to St. John's, but he won't be there long. It's a long journey. Hurry up. Honeymoon's over. I get it. Hey, hey, I was just, um, I'm just working out, you know, I want to be, want to be in shape for when Jake gets back, and, you know, we're going to be solving crime, you know, or whatever. Why oh, were you watching me? I wasn't. Don't be stupid. Tenny, all hands are at the Duke. You coming to what? Yeah. Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Yes, bye. Train there, are we, Daz? Got a big fight coming up? Keep it up, and maybe. When was that? It's Des, not Daz. Whatever. Right. Well, I'll be outside. Okay. 
Look, I'm... I'm worried about you. I'm fine. I'm good. You painted the entire house last week, and now you're working out all the time. I know you miss Jake. We all do, but we're gonna find him. Just know that I'm always... Soil, come on, let's hustle. I gotta go. See ya. See ya. Thanks a lot, boys. Yeah, no problem. That was right up there. Over here. Welcome to Newfoundland. We need to be mobile and get to work on finding a location for Kane. All right, look, we'll contact the local cops. I know someone there who can help. No police. Police here are different, OK? They're not like in your country. Hey, watch it. No offense, I'm just saying. I mean, the cops, I don't like them, but I can actually trust them. The minute any cop talks to the embassy or Mexican police, someone on Kane's payroll will be alerted, and Kane will return to Mexico before we can stop him. So, car. Uh, this one looks promising. Well, this car here is for sale. I mean, we probably should take her for a test run, no? Kane has a shipment coming in, probably drugs. I took down an informant and gave me a word. Triumphante. Could be a plane, a boat, or a smuggler's code name. Get in. I think I know where we should start. Chica, nice to see you again. I like how you're having me over to your place now. I wanted you to be a bit more comfortable for our little chat. Sergeant, this again? Inspector Smallwood, I'm just following up on a lead. There are other cases in my department that require your attention. Understood. This won't take long. It's already taken too long. Consider this his last visit. I'm sorry, my friend, but you have spent just a little too much time with them. So what are we talking about this time? Now, I'm starting to feel like you have some sort of thing for me. Am I right? Jake Doyle, what did you do to him? Really, that again? Like I've said over and over, I have no idea who you're talking about. this? A request for witness protection. You really think this will work? Then I'll flip on my employer. Well, either you sign it and tell me where Doyle is, or I just leak that you did. And some of your employer's friends can deal with you back in jail. Not bad, Blondie, but my friends are already coming for me. It's only a matter of time before I'm back on the street. Maybe you can drive me back. We can uh, talk more on the way. I told you not to test me, Carlos. That it. Word. You did it this time, Blondie. Now the boss is mad. No. You better think long and hard about what you choose or don't choose to say, because I can guarantee you this. You're going to be here for a long time, and your delicate Pacific disposition is not going to like our winters. Where is this? It's my office. I gotta find a way to track the name of that boat that you're looking for. Come on, come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Hear what? The sound of you avoiding making out with me? Yeah, I hear it. Oh. Whoa. I'm sorry. Uh... As romantic as it is to make out in an alleyway in broad daylight, I think we should head back in. Fine. That's just fine, man. Grayson, relax, OK? Just learn how to hold your booze a little better, and you'll have a much better shot at getting me naked. Let's go back inside with your day-boiled rugby friends. Who's that? My niece, and a soon-to-be-dead guy. Charming. Poppy, 
What do you ask? This is it. Anything to drink for a lovely off-duty police officer? Just ginger ale, please. Beer for me. Listen, thanks again for this, Mal. Really appreciate it. It's only temporary. As soon as I pay off four or five of them loans, I'll be on my way. Good man. And this pint is on me. I insist. But uh, it'd be great if you could just take it out of my check, as well as a bag of them chips over there. What? You know what I mean? On a date? I guess you could call it that. He's starting to get on my nerves. Well, you can always burn him off. <sighs> He's not bad when it's just the two of us. They never are. This might sound weird, but do you ever feel like you see Jake? Like, you know he's not there, but... You miss him. It's normal. But you can't let it take over your life. You'll be back driving us all crazy before you know it. You're young. Enjoy your night. Thanks. Someone's made some changes around here. You okay? But yeah, I mean, obviously it looks like my family thinks that I'm dead. It seems a tad cruel when I'm going on thinking that, don't you think? We've been over this. They'll put their lives in jeopardy and blow the entire operation. Plus, how do you know they're not slightly relieved? Ha uh ha. -huh. Now, if your boat is in St. John's Harbor, will be listed on the Port Authority's website. Three in front day. He's in here. What did you say that word was again? Three in front day. What does that mean in English? Uh, victory, success, winning. Success. There's a boat here called Victorious. Does that work? That has to be him. Hold it! Jake? Hey, da Dad. You're alive! Tell me this wasn't about a girl. <laughs> sort of. You little shit! You didn't think that'd be good information to tell me that my son isn't dead? Just... I got... Okay, I just got back. Hey, I'd like you to meet someone. I can explain. Jake, you've done some rotten things in your life. But was a phone call too much to ask of? Frickin' text message! Uh, Mr. Doyle, I'm assuming I can explain I'm a Mexican police officer. And we're... we're undercover, sort of. We're tracking a notorious killer. I need Jake's help to stop him. Yeah, we just got a lead, okay? And if you're not gonna have a heart attack, I could really use some backup, so... Can you let me explain this whole thing in the car, or what? It's taking everything out of me not to flatten you right now. Okay. Let's go. come down, I saw him go up. I'm not sure. You know how to change over a keg, do you? I kind of glazed over when Mal showed me that part. Sorry. Buzz me up. are all over us, and you're in there causing an international incident. And it's all for Jake Doyle, I'm guessing. Inspector Smallwood, with all due respect, we all know there's something more to Jake's disappearance than Carlos is letting on. Drop it. You turned down the federal task force job because Doyle disappeared. I promoted you to be my number one, extra pay, an office with a window. What's not to like here? Do not let Jake Doyle's ghost drag you down, please. His ghost? What I mean is you have to accept the fact that Doyle is likely dead and the details of what happened to him buried with him. Move on. So, what do we do with Carlos? Back to Her Majesty's? Send him back. No. Let's turn the AC on bust and let him sit there. I think I'll go with your answer. I'm serious, you gotta let it go. He's dead.
one. The only one not on the manifest. So whatever Kane's shipping, it must be in here. You're right, and this thing is filled to the brim with drugs. That's enough to take Kane down. If we catch him. These guys, they don't look like drugs to me. Lock the building down, scan the parking lot, and search the place floor by floor now. Don. Did anybody see anything? Who the hell got in there? Cameras in the room went out seconds before Carlos was killed. Someone is sending a message. The killers wanted to rub our faces in it. You okay? It's just. Carlos was the only person left who could help us find Jake. Leslie, I need your help. I think something happened to my grandfather. What? Are you sure? Yeah, he went up to the office and then he just disappeared. Leslie? <sighs> Leslie, what's going on? Tinny, I know you're worried, but I'm in the middle of something. Well, we can talk on the way. What are we tangled up in here? Maybe Kane's uh, shipping human cargo. Nothing about that man surprises me. I'm gonna grab the car. We have to get these guys to the authorities. Por qué no me contestan? Someone went through a lot of trouble to get these fellas here, and it must have cost a fortune. Nosotros no sabemos nada. Get that door. Jacob Doyle. Why is it that every time I open up a container, there you are? Just want to make sure you get your packages on time, Kane, or, or should I call you constable now, baby? You can call me whatever you want, but this is the last time you and I play this game. Kane, drop it. Gabriella, I thought you'd know better. Stay here and call for backup. I want to help. Call for backup and stay with the car. That's an order. Drop it. I do what she says, man. Because when it comes to dealing with tools, she doesn't bluff. Yeah, well, she knows I don't bluff either. Isn't this right, Gabriella? Lower your gun. You can't win this. I don't know what's going on, but I'm Sergeant Leslie Bennett of the RNC, and you're all under arrest. So put the firearms down and put your hands where I can see them. Jake, what? You're not? Unfortunately. Jake, who is she? Good question, Jake, who's she? <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Oh, terrible way to find out about the other woman. <laughs> Shut up, Kane. Get Leslie, I can, I can explain, OK? I need everyone to relax and... Uncle Jake? Do they know? This is family. Nice. Just... Kane, how about you point the gun at me, OK? Because we both know I'm the one that you want dead. Maybe I'll just kill you both. Put the gun down now. Do it. Yeah, two against one, you don't have a lot of options. Looks like there's only one way out of this. I can't believe it's you. Where have you been? I'll tell you, but you gotta promise me you're not going out with that weird little, you know, cop guy. Son. I can explain it. Sort of. You disobey a direct order. You jeopardize the safety of a fellow officer, not to mention civilians. And worst of all, you do all of this while inebriated. I wasn't drinking, sir. Save it for your union rep. I can't wait to meet this Jake Doyle guy. He seems to have a serious influence over some of my officers. In the meantime, you're suspended until further notice. Please tell me you weren't on the beach somewhere all this time with that young girl while we were all mourning your death? No, my dad. I was locked in a Mexican prison. She busted me out. And why would she do that? Because she needed my help to track down Kane. Nothing's ever simple with you, is it? What do you want me to say? I am sorry that I was shipped off to Mexico and locked in a hellhole of a prison. I thought you... I thought I might not see you again. You disappointed? No, Jake. I am really glad to see you. And that's the truth. Malachi, can we have a moment, please? Sure, of course. Why didn't you...
you tell me you were alive? We all thought you were dead, Jake. No. Oh. Would you stop it? Now, what is going on? Who is that Mexican cop? Okay, her name is Gabriella. She's after Kane, the head of a Mexican cartel. He's expanding his business here in Canada. He's the fellow who shipped those four migrants here. How do you get yourself into these messes? <laughs> Why are you smiling? I'm just happy to see your face. Honestly, I never thought I'd see it again, and it was killing me. I'm sorry for all this. Where's Gabriella now? You know, asking the whereabouts of a hot Mexican cop shouldn't be the first thing out of your mouth after we do that. Well, don't worry. I mean, you're the only hot Mexican cop that I'd ever be interested in. But seriously, I think she needs our help. We had her fixed up and had a cruiser drop her off at your office. Right. <clears throat> but did I mention that you're hot and and that I love you. Wait here, and I'll get your release papers for you. And I love you too. Bennett, what the hell are you doing? Okay, so Hood told me that he searched and interrogated migrants from the container. No sign of drugs or guns on them. Yeah, and they're looking for a fourth migrant who took off. Now, firstly, now. You need a phone with a better camera. You, you can't capture life's special moments with this. Now, secondly, I enhanced the image with the new software that Jake bought me. Uh, Jake's been missing for months. OK, he doesn't know that he bought it for me yet, but it was one of those, I was thinking about you while I was in a foreign prison kind of thing. Does the men we found in the container? Right, right. Well, they seem to just be like regular customers who paid a mint for Kane to ship them into the country. I know, I would have. Oh, Jake. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Oh, we were worried sick. It's a long story, and I'll explain it to y'all later. What's up? What's up? Oh, my God, dude, I miss you so much. Oh, OK, yeah, I miss you too, buddy. I did. But uh, I got to hear more about these migrants, all right? Let's go. Uh, uh, they're being held in a government facility until their refugee claim can be processed. But the only link they have to Kane is that they paid him. OK, let us know if you find out anything else. Dad, we should go check on Gabriella. She's back at the office. Yeah, we, we, we have so much catching up to do. And don't worry, I'm gonna, I'll bring back all your jeans from my closet. I wore them. You know, they're surprisingly tight fit. And uh, let's look into this, Gabriella. I'm not 100% sure she's on the up and up. OK. Jake? Uh, no, you're staying with me, kiddo. OK. Where'd you park? Around the corner, uh, but uh, you might want to drive. Get the driver again. We might want to hurry. Oh, yeah, right. This address on G. Gabriella. Let's go. Gabriella! Let's split up. Kane, it's kind of fitting that we found you here in a junkyard, don't you think? What can I say? You got me. Enough games, Kane. Where's Gabriella? Good time. 
Rose. Jake, I've been looking into Gabriella. Bad news. Turns out she's under investigation by the Mexican police. What? Yeah, exactly. And wait, there's more. Turns out Gabriella is. Gabriella? Jake. Uh. Hang up. I'll have to call you back. Jake. What is this? I'm sorry, Jake. But I had no other play. You didn't tell him, did you? Tell me what? She's my wife. Oh, well, that's just. That's great. Yeah. Jake, I. Look, I know you're gonna need some time to process that, so just take all the time you need. Si te bien, linda. Si te bien. Where are we? Uh, we're in a car. Jake? I think we're in the air. I think you're right. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Oh, uh, um, pardon. Uh, Podrias ver esto, por favor. Uh, see, this is the same tattoo, right? But the base is different. You see it? Yeah, they're lines. That's what I thought. Great minds, right? But on closer inspection, they're actually Roman numerals or uh, numeros romanos. Like uh, this one here, that one's a three. This one here, that's a four. And Hector here, Hector's a five. So it's not just branding. These represent like a rank of some kind. What do you mean? Like all these guys. They could be soldiers in Kane's organization. So Carlos, he's only a two. Does that mean they're all higher ranked than him? Well, that would mean that these men, they're not refugees, but... Hardcore criminals, even worse than Carlos. The migrants are Kane's lieutenants in his cartel. That must be how he's expanding his operation, by smuggling them into town. Well, from here, Kane can stick them anywhere in the country. Or the U.S. Oh, and it's pronounced lieutenant. Just FYI. I gotta call Leslie. No, rue the day they ever suspended you, Tinny. Rue the day. It's locked! I know! You're some detective. Look, just knock it off, all right? This whole thing isn't entirely my fault. Where is it? Gabriella. Gabriella! She left us the key. Why? Who cares? Open the lock. All right, bye, all right. <clears throat> you do it. Don't drop it. I gotta stop this guy from dropping us on the ground. Don't break your neck. Stop the timid like you care. Whoa! Oh, Jake! Where's Kane? 
How's he transporting himself and his lieutenants into Canada? Are you gonna say anything? Fine, you can rot in here for all I care. You know, this would have been a lot easier if you were straight with me from the start. I had to get Benito back. I'm sorry, I should have been more straightforward. I married Gain thinking he was a simple businessman. We had a son, Benito. And then I found out the truth. Gain was a criminal. So I took Benito and I left. I take it that didn't go over so well with Cain. He came after me and he took Benito. My father tried to stop him. Cain killed him. I've been trying to take him down to get my son since. He promised that he would give him back to me if I... If you killed me. You're an obstacle to Cain. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have involved you. I just... I had no other choice. I want Benito back. It's my world. I tell you what, we'll figure something out. I promise. Oh, don't stop on my account. Your man in there, he's not talking. He won't. He's as tough as they come. Do you got any other leads? I know Kane was supposed to leave the city tonight, but my sources didn't know how. What is this? We found it next to Carlos's body. I assume now it's from Kane. I haven't seen him leave one of those in a while. He wanted to make a statement that no one is safe from him. Has Hector seen this? No. I think I got an idea on how to get some answers. Quieres hablar? Man. There is nothing like the fear of getting whacked to get a guy talking. Once Gabriella gets all the information we need, we'll get all hands on deck. I've got first-hand experience with Kane. I think we should be really discreet about this. Okay. I'll do it your way. Leslie. I really missed you. to think you don't need him anymore. Now where's my boy? Get on the ground, Kane. I do as she says. Just give us the kid. I can't do that, my friend. Get down! Benito. Our son is safe. Safe is far away from you. Yeah, but you're gonna have to let me go. You'll never see him again. Whoa, no, no, look. It might feel good, but it's not gonna help. I should have known you'd never leave without him. Safe and sound. 
So, what now? Kane will be detained here, hopefully permanently. I can't go back to Mexico. Where do you think you'll end up? Well, I do like it here. It's a great place to live. Thank you for helping me and my son. I don't want to even think about what could have happened without you. It was my pleasure. <clears throat> Goodbye, Jake. I hope to see you again. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah, I meant that in a purely platonic sense. We better head to the Duke. Your entire family's waiting for you. Does that mean you'll be my date? It better be your date. <clears throat> to my not yet dead son, Jake. How poetic. But fitting, don't you think? Isn't this wicked? It's all pretty awesome. Good to see you, Jake. There's a bottle at the house. Why, ne why is, why is Ned behind the bar? Oh, it works here. We hired him. Cheers. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. My suspension's up for review next week. I feel like an idiot, though. Hey, hey, look. You were helping your family. Okay, and in my books, that makes you a non-idiot-like person. Thanks. Well, at least Leslie told Inspector Smallwood that I brought the tattoo thing in, so he's going to take that into account. Good. I'm just really happy Jake's back. Yeah, me too. Uh, Jake, um, I, uh, we all are uh, so glad to see you back home safe and sound. And we all, I really missed you. You're here. Oh, and Jake, uh, Enjoy this toast, because it's the last one you'll hear from me until ye two get hitched. Oh, come on. Although, wedding would be nice. Oh, sorry, I thought we were supposed to... Aren't we supposed to tap the glasses to get them to... Get, okay. Drinks on the house! No, 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 It's a miscommunication. This isn't your house. By the way, if you disappear like that again, don't bother coming back. I'm just saying. I promise. I'll never leave your side. Good to be home. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.